Kevin was started off against Dragon Sito. I love Dragon Sito, the energy that he brings to the hexalateral ring every time he competes. I love the colors too. Oh, I'm a color guy. You know, one of the greatest things about Bucha Libre you see here on Masked Warriors, the costuming, the colors, the pageantry. That's really one of the things that separates. Plus, where else are you going to see minis? These fantastic athletes. And his opponent from Guadalajara, Mexico, weighing 110 pounds, Mascarita Morada. And I'll tell you what, Kevin, I talked about the colors of Dragoncito. Look at this. Are you kidding? Look at the uh, sparkles. The work on that cape there for Mascarita Dorada. Dorada, of course, one of the one of the true household names. When you talk about the mini stars, one of the most fantastic athletes, and I've said before, perhaps the strongest man pound for pound in all of Lucha Libre USA. Without a doubt. And I'll tell you what, they look like a Swarovski crystals on the back. Oh I mean, he's got some money. What do you think? Well, he's got the money. He's got the ladies. Oh, he's definitely got the ladies. We know that. I don't know what it is. Well, I mean, I know what it is. He's a fantastic athlete. He's successful. But ladies just fall over for this guy. <laughs> Have you seen him? Hey, hey, you know what? And, hey, I guess if you've got that magnetism, you might as well use it. We could use some of that, I guess. Yeah, I, I could certainly take some lessons from him as Dorada Wastelot go behind here on Dragon Sito. And you said it earlier, Kevin, these athletes are outstanding. These Lucha stars, the mini stars, they can do just about anything. The, the, the feats of strength that they perform, the athleticism that they do, it's truly remarkable. And really, only here on Masked Warriors will you see stars such as Dragon Sito and Mascarita Dorada, Octagon Sito, Mini Park. The roster goes on and on. Some of that agility being displayed there. Oh, yeah, arm drag there and Dragon Sito. Look at that little, and hey, still a little page out of Mini Park. Little dancer, little shimmy shake. Dragon Seat, what is that? Somebody just threw something in the room. <laughs> uh, what, what, is it a t-shirt? I don't what? know what, somebody just threw a t-shirt or oh something in the ring. Oh my, that's a pair of panties. No! <laughs> Man, I, I mean, he is, where did they get those? Albuquerque, Tint, Nani? I don't know, there's, this, uh, there's a red-headed woman over here. There's a red-headed woman over uh, to uh, over the right-hand side of the ring, and uh, I think she threw them towards the ring. Wow. I, you <laughs> know? Oh, there's a quick cover. Can't. Well, there's two. Uh, count to two. There, maybe he's going to need a tetanus shot. We've got to get a referee oh. checked out. Can we get a medic to the ring, please? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, those are some uh, big old panties there. <laughs> yeah. It, well, you know what it's amazing about that? The hang time they had, Kevin, they actually made it to the ring. How often do you think that happens? I don't know, but there are uh, three women on their feet here just off to the camera right look at the athleticism into that submission hold he's got it trying to get it applied dragon cito fighting to stay on his feet trying to get loose from mascarita dorada and dorada look how quick he is a roll up here on the back too oh and a kick out just in time dragon cito knew that his uh night could have come to a quick end there if dorada would have been able to lock in that submission hold great counter though and dorada showing some quickness here look at that I'll tell you, Kevin, I'm watching this girl a little bit here, and not only did she throw her panties and she's got a picture of Dorada, and, well, she's a little, uh, she's a little out there. Oh! There's a mistake from Dorada who goes down hard to the floor. Yeah, you know, and you don't see mistakes very often. He usually knows Watch exactly out! what to do. Oh, Susito! Dragoncito flies here in Casa de Lucha. I think maybe he had a little air time, a little wings. Little wings, I think, got a little air, a little extra there. It definitely helped. Dragon Sito, though, paid the price for that as well. That's the thing with high risk. High risk, high reward, but you do take some damage, and these mini stars will sacrifice their bodies. Ooh! Right into the guardrail. Without a doubt, the greatest minis in the world, Kevin. Absolutely, and the only place you will see them is right here on Masked Warriors. High five of the fans. Oh, no, there she is. Oh, look, look at that's a bear hug. All right, Relax let a little go. bit. Let him go, security. Um, now, <laughs> he really <laughs> looks like a mini there. That is a fervent fan, ladies and gentlemen. I, wow. appreciate, I appreciate her passion. Oh, and look, at Dragoncito took advantage. Dorada was thrown off a little bit by that, Kevin, as we were. And while that happened, 
you think Dorada's life flashed before his eyes when he was in the grips of that big old woman there? I don't know. That's a whole lot of loving, though. <laughs> whole lot. Look at Dragoncito now. She has her own zip code. Able to take advantage. Be nice now. Okay, Come on. I'm sorry. Oh, slam there in the cover. Two. Drag uh, Mascarita Dorada able to get that left shoulder up. And uh, security has uh, gotten those fervent fans out of here, thankfully. Yeah, oh, know. here we goes. Ooh. Cover here, look at that. The cradle driver near fall for Dragoncito. That almost spelled defeat for Dorada. Dorada is a little bit winded here. Winded, banged up. He's taking some major shots. Well, Dragoncito is taking the crowd out of this one and has Masquerita Dorada on the receiving end. Could Dragoncito put Masquerita Dorada away here on Mast Warriors? Well, Kevin, the other thing too is Masquerita Dorada very often drives the pace. In this match, that's not happening. Well, now we'll see if Dorada is able to get back in control. You made a very good point. Loves to be in control of the pace. Big knee to the bread basket there. That caught Dra that Dragon Seat to a little more than you would have thought. Oh, Sunset a rollout. Oh, drop kick right on the money. Shoots and scores. Does Mascarita Dorada. Dorada off the ropes, avoids contact, arm drag. Dorada now starting to feel it a little bit. Creating some distance now. Mascarita Dorada, oh, look at that. Off the second rope, then with the shoulder. And Dragoncito counted to it. That was close. And you can see Dragoncito a little winded. What does he have to do to take care of Dorada? That's, that's the question that Masquerita Dorada opponents always ask. What do I got to do to beat this guy? Dorada with the shot to the legs, and Dragoncito almost took one in the family jewels. Boy, can you believe it, what it's like for Dragoncito to be up there on this top rope? This is high rent district, the danger zone. Look Ooh. at this. Top rope Hurricane Rana. Boy, that's a long fall when you're a mini. Will it do Count it? the two and no. Got to give Dragoncito some credit here for battling back. He's been close several times on the brink of elimination, but able to get that shoulder up. And look at the talent here into the arm drag. Oh, look at this. Into the pinning combination. Oh, that's it. Count the three. Dorada, who started slow in this match, rallies. Here's your winner, Mascarita. Hey, listen, we've said it before, we'll say it again. The ladies love Dorada. That woman here in this matchup may have been the biggest woman I had ever seen, but you know what? That's a whole lot of love for Mascarita Dorada, who scores a win here over Dragon Cena on Mass Warriors.